prayer of Taraweeh in Ramadan, in the month of Ramadan, in Jama'ah, was introduced by Umar Farooq and Allah, peace with him. And, and he said about this, this is a very good bidah, this is again in Bukhari. This is a very good bidah. And the Prophet himself, peace upon him, says in Sahih Muslim, Man sallaf in Islam, whoever introduces in Islam a good sunnah, he will receive the reward for it and the reward for all those who act upon it. Therefore we are following, the Prophet said, the successors of the Prophet are the ulama. Yes, we follow the companions. We must follow the companions. We must also follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we must follow the ulama. And we are at this stage now, alhamdulillah, we have such a richness of Islam, Islamic understanding. Yes, what the Prophet did, peace upon him, we must follow. What the companions said, we must follow. What the ulama are saying, we must not ignore. Because the Prophet himself said, Inna the ulama wa The ulama are the successors of the Prophet. And even seeing the face of an alim, you receive reward. There's a hadith. Seeing, seeing the Kaaba, you receive reward. Seeing your parents with a nice, happy face, you receive such reward. You get one hajj for just looking at your parents. So, and ulama also mentioned. So let's, let's, let's not just follow so narrow-mindedly. Let's, alhamdulillah, open up, providing we can find evidence in Quran and And, finally, I'll say this. To say ya yeah to someone who has passed away, Allah Himself says in Quran, it's the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya ayyad ayyad al nasul we can say ya yeah, to someone who has passed away. If you're saying it's wrong, you're saying Allah is wrong. Now, one, just one more point about what the brother said. I feel no enmity towards our brother. You see, our enemies outside are not worse. I mean, 100% they're out to kill us. We are just here to have a very fruitful and heated, of course, discussion. But the idea is not to split us apart, the idea is to understand. I have proved my points as to my best of my ability, and I am following the ulama to the best of my ability. Alhamdulillah, I am sincere in what I believe, and wallahi, Allah knows I am answerable to him. And I believe my brother is also sincere in what he believes. So, we can't do more than this. We have to, at the end, agree to disagree, inshallah. That's all I have to say. Please, just two, three minutes, because we have to... Two minutes, not three. Two minutes, then I have to go. Uh, you said that, uh, anyway, the issue of Bidah is not our topic, not really the issue of Bidah, because it requires a special gathering, and I'm ready for that, and right after I come back to London. Just specify the topic, and I will go with you. But anyway, since you said that Umar started it, Umar did not start it. The Prophet ﷺ said, إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَنَّ لَكُمْ صَوْمَ رَمَضَانْ وَسَنَنْتُ لَكُمْ قِيَامًا It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who made it sunnah for you, sunnah away, a system, to fast Ramadan, and I have made the sunnah of making of the qiyam of Ramadan. And he prayed it, and he prayed it. But the Prophet ﷺ, he left it because he was afraid that it, will, it, may, be, it may become, after his death, وسلم, it may become wajib, so he left it for them. But he started it, don't say, I want to start it, no. You are still struggling. You are ignoring, still ignoring why, if we are allowed to ask someone other than Allah, why did Allah say, if وَأَنَّ الْمَسَاجِدَ لِلَّهِ فَلَا تَدْعُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ أَحَدٍ قُلْ إِنِّي أُمِرْتُ أَنْ أَعْبُدَ اللَّهَ قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَدْعُوا In Surah Al-Jinn قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَدْعُوا رَبِّي وَلَا أُشْرِكُ بِهِ أَحَدًا I ask Allah alone. Moses, Musa a.s. benefited Muhammad. He benefited him without being asked by Muhammad. Without being asked by Muhammad. Al-Zabidi, Al-Qutab Al-Zabidi, in his book, I think you know the book. If Hadd Salah Muttaqeed, Sharh, Ihya, Arun al-Din, he said it is disgusting for someone to ask someone other than Allah while well, he knows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the beneficial to It has to say that the Shari'i Ihya Arun al-Din Is it is what as Zabidi said? He said it is disgusting for someone No, you're talking about the ulama, I want you One of your ulama, he's Hanafi He's not of your ulama, okay, I'm sorry Okay, anyway The Prophet, if the Prophet sallallahu said The supplication, dua is ibadah why do we have to swear that ibadah to Allah? Allah said, 
Why do we don't allow the Christians to say, Oh Mary, and you know that the Christians do not take Mary as God. No. They say she's a good woman. Why do you ask her? Because she's righteous. We cannot go to God, we go to her. Why Allah said to, to Isa, he will be saying to Isa, Did you tell people, did you ask people to take me and my mother as God? Why as God? The Christians today say, Your you Quran is wrong. We do, we do not take Mary as God. We say, if you ask her, and you believe, as the brother said, that she can be about Muhammad That she can hear everything, all people at one, at one time. Yes, you are making her God. And you too, when you claim that the Prophet ﷺ does not be busy from hearing this one to hearing that one, so he can hear all people in different places at the same time. Excuse me. Excuse me. You are saying every day, tens of times in your prayer, You are opposing what you are saying every day. You don't understand what the, what the verse means. I'm sorry, but if, if you told me that you are ready to make Mubahara, I'm ready to make it. No. Listen, brother, as a custodian and caretaker, I have every right Please, to oversee what is happening. Now, where there is a controversy, it leads to so many things. We have Anfi, we have Shafi, we have Malki, we have so many things. Not in Aqidah. They all have one mother in Aqidah. There is a mother. In fact, yes. There are interpretations. <laughs> you know it, I know it, everybody knows it. It has been going on from our great, 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 great four forefathers. We haven't been able to change it. What we need is unity amongst all, so that we can fight the Bufa, not amongst us. To answer your question, I've answered it. I said, Allah said, even if they hear you, everybody except Allah, even if they hear you, they will not respond to you. Yeah. Never mind about and in al says, it says the Hanafi scholars say that whoever claims that the spirits of the people, of the, of the good ones, is available ready with the people, is making profit. Okay, if you carry on, I carry on. Please. No, sorry, sorry, Jazakum Akhir. But, uh, okay, I'll ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah. Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I believe. That you said, don't ask anyone beside me. And I believe by what you guided me in the Quran and the Sunnah of your Prophet ﷺ, that I am not allowed to ask you, Prophet ﷺ, after his death. If I am wrong, curse me, O Allah. Okay. Would you say so the same? I am very satisfied and fully convinced that my Ida is in accordance with the Quran and Hadith. And we are allowed to pass the Awliya Ikram and the Amriya Ikram for okay. assistance from the graves, as proved from the Quran and Sunnah. And if I'm wrong, Ya Rahman if my brother is wrong, please don't curse him, guide him. But if I'm wrong, Ya Rahman if you can't guide me, then curse him. No, I'm saying curse. You said No, don't, don't, give two, don't, two, don't give two options to Allah. Ask him to curse you if, if you're wrong. Why do you say God guide me? Do you doubt yourself? Do you doubt yourself? If you doubt, asking for a curse me if I'm wrong. Curse me if I am wrong. You did not make the mubahara. You did not make mubahara. You are afraid to make it. Say if I'm wrong, curse me. Finish it, please. Leave it, brother. Finish it. If you are wrong, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala curse you.